The next to introduce is Ines Vodopivets, uh, who is Deputy Director of National and University Library of Slovenia and Europeana Network Association Member Conciliar, who will be talking about cultural heritage data as humanities research data, development of Europeana data space in cultural heritage. Uh, thank you very much for the introduction and of course, uh, first of all, I would like to say um, thank you for inviting me here, especially for, to Dr. Pobezhin who um, expected me to make an, somehow an, an umbrella of uh, all the activities you are working on the project and what we are doing also in the, in the Europe space. Um, now, let me tell you that as a, um, an outcomer, so somebody that doesn't work on the project, I feel like an alien here, and I hope you won't uh, mind me repeating some, some information that you probably all already know or are acquainted with. Um, and, um, but I think they're quite important for a further deployment of results uh, you are uh, doing on the project and the data you are producing on the project. Um, I think as far as I, I heard uh, what you're doing uh, today and yesterday, uh, the project is very interesting and the results are um, and will be very useful for a broader research community, not only in Europe but even um, uh, beyond, beyond it. Um, and uh, today, I, as um, my colleague said already, uh, today um, I will be presenting here as uh, a GLAM representative, that is library representative some, uh, from the library that already developed um, Digital Library of Slovenia for uh, quite some time. I will be re um, talking as a uh, Europeana representative and also as a researcher and promoter or fair of uh, usage of fair data in the European space. Um, so, uh, for, for, uh, the, for uh, the beginning, for the introduction, uh, please um, um, let me um, say a few words on where we are with transformation of digitization culture and uh, digital environment. Um, on the national and international level. We have started with digitization uh, projects and um, developing, of course, in the 90s. And um, then the second phase of digitization followed, where mass digitization was, um, was uh, uh, implemented in different institutions, especially for the written cultural heritage. And today we are already talking about the third generation of digitization, where we are um, combining different uh, GLAM institutions, different data, uh, we are merging the data, um, uh, making the, the link um, between different databases, metadata, etc. Uh, so to um, make the, the already digitized content useful and reused by, by different, uh, different fields of science. Um, so we are actually building a heritage science in different, uh, uh, different fields, especially with a transdisciplinary um, interaction between, between research. Um, To, to return to our uh, digital environment in Slovenia, uh, we have now already more than 15 years of our digital library of uh, Slovenia. Uh, it was developed in-house in the National Library uh, and we reached a milestone of one million of objects in the last year. Uh, these objects are very different. They are from, um, we have um, written cultural heritage as well as 3D objects and uh, other similar contents. Um, like music, uh, video, um, uh, also visual, visual data, as um, we have seen in the, in the, uh, in the uh, presentations just before me. So uh, we have already, um, well, the colleagues uh, sitting here were already talked about how, how uh, the data can be deployed, also with storytelling and other, other um, possibilities. Here I have some, some um, examples of how we do it. We make some e-learning uh, tools and environment. We, made, uh, we also make digital stories. We link data with other, other contents like georeferencing and similar. 
um, we make quizzes, uh, uh, transcriptions, uh, online classrooms, etc. Uh, all of this we do with integration, uh, cooperation, and linking between institutions, between um, between um, data data related content, for example, persons, objects, um, um, uh, then uh, some some periods in time, etc. So all of this uh, that uh, already was presented today is also done in other fields, and it can be combined together in different, different um, ways. Um, as, um, of course, somebody that um, uh, researches written cultural heritage, please don't mind me say, uh, uh, saying that um, the written cultural heritage, especially heritage, is uh, has at least three fields today. On one side, we have this uh, physical heritage, like paper, uh, manuscripts on parchment, we have statues, we have uh, pictures, etc. On the other side, we have digitally born uh, heritage that is today developed. All of these can be integrated uh, together, uh, but of course it has to be linked and it has to be connected. And for this, we have a um, strategy of the European Union, uh, which is... Which is um, uh, kind of a um, um, focus in Europeana as a strategic field for integration all, of all these different kinds of heritage we, we have today. Uh, for this, of course, we have to make some merging and um, combination between uh, different fields of research, as I already say, so, uh, uh, told. Uh, in the National Library of Slovenia, we are also a national aggregator of content for Europeana. Um, there are also other national uh, aggregators, as you probably know, and there are also content aggregators for Europe Europeana. But in, um, in the last year, uh, we were discussing on Europeana that this centralization of data is going to be uh, separated in different, different national or regional um, cloud-based um, uh, um, developments, um, where um, also institutions that are maybe today not so presented could be, um, could be um, maybe uh, for them it could be more accessible or maybe um, it could be reached better. Because today we have a huge um, ecosystem of different data, tools, uh, infrastructures, projects, institutions, users, and it's all been to to combined in one big um, data space uh, for cultural heritage, which is, of course, oh, sorry, I'll have to, I'll, I'll go back to this, which looks today like this. You have all kinds of different uh, data clouds, uh, infrastructures, institutions, building de their own databases. Uh, like your uh, project, you also built your database. Uh, the Slovenian bio uh, Biographical Lexicon is also one database. You have a uh, uh, huge amount of, of content that is very um, difficult for the final user to find and to reach. For this reason, we would need a common... Um, um, common uh, like a um, portal to, 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 to reach the content and to make accessible it for the user, for the final user, to, to make the searches so that they, uh, he or she can find um, the content that they, that they need. For example, if they search for one person, they also get the, uh, the information about, where, uh, about the, the, the place where he lived, they also find uh, information of the contents he, he was, for example, writing about, and the contents are, for example, um, visualized in a, in a gallery in, on some, some um, um, canvases or something like that, and you can combine together some different contents in one related space. Uh, I will go back now to, to just a, a, a little statistic. It was interesting for me when we got the recommendation for the European Commission on the data spaces. Uh, I looked at the, um, at the number of objects we have integrated from Slovenia. And um, when, we, when, when I looked at the like, uh, um, normalization of the, of the content, I saw that uh, we have, like, uh, if Slovenia has 2 million of, of um, inhabitants, we, uh, every second person in Slovenia has its own digital law object in the Europeana or in the digital environment. So that's quite a fascinating fact. So um, hopefully we'll go that, in that direction forward. 
um, at the moment we are all working on a twinet 3D project. That means the digitization of uh, 3D objects and facilitating the digitization in museums and other collections where um, uh, maybe the digitization was not so, so very well integrated as in the libraries. Why is that the case? You probably know that the libraries have to have the catalog for each book to find in um, each moment, uh, which is not the case in other heritage institutions. That means that if you have a, um, an exhibition in the museum, you have the objects there. And your depot, where you have other objects, is, of course, you have some data about it, but you don't have to access it every minute. So uh, you don't have the backbone, like the metadata system, where the, you can um, um, attach the digital objects on. So we first have the, this system, the, the, the build system where the metadata is um, ins inscribed and then you can relate the objects also to other databases. So the Twinit, ob uh, Twinit uh, action will uh, accelerate also the digitization in, the, in other GLAMs, not only the libraries. Um, as you probably know, there's a lot of infrastructures in the European Union also. You have the RIAG as a uh, digital humanities infrastructure. You have Clarin for text uh, analysis infrastructure. You have Operas for uh, publication access. And you have ARIES where we are in, uh, very much active and this is the, um, uh, the uh, heritage science um, transdisciplinary infrastructure for different fields in, in, um, uh, in, in this area. Um, so uh, all these infrastructures work in their field, in special fields, and that's also why I have this slide afterwards, um, uh, because it's still, you know, they, they work, and, and in some, uh, in some um, countries, also some infrastructures are already building together. For example, the Raya and Clarion, they are combining their results together. They are working together to reach the final public better. And um, uh, if they want and if we want to deploy our results better, we also have to integrate our results in other uh, nodes where our, uh, and hubs where our results can be uh, further uh, further reused by other researchers and other public. And uh, here is the um, uh, EOSC. Uh, this is a European um, collaborative, collaborative cloud for, um, uh, sorry, this is the, the next one. This is the European Open Science Cloud where you can publish your, not only the data, but also the tools you are developing for other researchers to use and to deploy. And the next one, which, are, which is just happening now, the, the European Commission a call just ended last week, is the European um, Collaborative Cloud for Cultural Heritage, which will also be the knot where you, you will be able to integrate your tools developed in the project and the research you have done. The next thing I would also propose is to integrate it into the, into the Glam Lab system where you can be uh, integrated as a institution or a project, um, project entity. So moving towards the 2030, and I will finish with this, I think we need um, susta sustainable um, prax uh, praxis, we need uh, uh, sustainability in the field of digital cultural heritage, that's why we need to um, combine our results together to network and to um, link the, the results we have. Um, we need a long-term preservation of digital data, which has to be strategically uh, um, made on the national and international level, so that the, the data is uh, stored on, um, in uh, digital archives that have long-term um, possibilities. And, of course, the standardization of the, of the input of all of the metadata we do and how we link it together. Um, with this, I would finish, and I would just say, say thank you, and you can find me after the lunch probably. <laughs>